Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And today, I'm outdoors doing what I love the most, and that's being outside. And I hope that my channel inspires you to go outside and, well, see what you can find. And I love the winter time to go out and look for various species of fungi. Some that are there year round and are obvious when the leaves fall off the trees, and others that seem to be able to grow in the winter time. I've done episodes on woods ear and uh, oyster mushrooms, which are edible mushrooms that you can find at this time of the year. But today's episode is going to be about an unusual fungus called amber jelly roll. And it's one of the jelly fungi. And it's really cool because, well, it's so different from the classic idea of what you think of as a fungus. So today we're gonna go out, I'm gonna show you how to find amber jelly roll and how to identify it and a little bit about its biology. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Good places to find amber jelly roll is in hardwood forests. Some people say that it's most common on willow. Others will say they find it a lot on oak. And here I have a mix of oak and beech and red maple and birch trees. And I generally tend to find it on birch. And amber jelly roll always grows on twigs that have fallen on the ground. And my experience is that they grow on twigs that still have their bark on that have not been on the ground for very long. So what I'll do is I'll go up to a, a twig like this one and pick it up and turn it and check it on both sides and then move on to the next one. And as I look up this one, well, there's some amber jelly roll right here. The scientific name of the amber jelly roll mushroom is Exidia resiva, and it's in a group of fungi called the jelly fungi called the auricularia. It's very common in northeast woods. You shouldn't have any trouble finding it by looking on the ground as I have shown you. Amber jelly roll is a fairly common fungus, but probably has gone unnoticed by a lot of people unless you start to look for it. And it doesn't go on sticks that have been rotting for a long time. It seems to be on the fresher sticks that still have bark on them. Where I am, it seems to be most common on black birch. In other places, people will tell you they find it most often on willow, and other people will tell you they find it on oak branches. And when you look at them close up, some of them, depending on whether it's rained and how old they are, are kind of black and dried up. They look a lot like black dried raisins. They have that kind of that wrinkly texture on them. In places where there's more moisture or they haven't dried out or they're actively growing, you'll see that they have this kind of hanging jelly-like structure to them. They're really fascinating. They're so different than other fruiting bodies of fungi. Remember, the fruiting bodies of fungi, the purpose of them is to produce spores and their living mass is underneath, in this case, inside this stick as fungal hypha breaking down the wood of this stick and turning over the forest into soil again. It is an edible mushroom and some mushroom foragers like it because you can always find it in the winter whereas many other mushrooms are not, except for maybe like the wood ear and the oyster mushroom. Again, I'm not an experienced mushroom forager. I'm more an appreciator of all things nature. And I love finding and identifying and learning about new things. And that's what I try to share here in my channel. If you're interested in learning about foraging mushrooms and eating them, there's a lot of toxic looks likes. So don't use my video as your end all and go and eat things from my videos. Go with a, a mushroom club, go with local foragers, go with an expert, and maybe even check out the YouTube channel of a good friend of mine called Wild Meat Let's Eat. And he'll show you how to find, collect, prepare, and cook edible mushrooms. I hope that you'll go out 
and look for and see if you can find these interesting jelly-like structures on sticks. Remember, they'll dehydrate and when they dry, they'll be black and hard. And when they um, are hydrated after it rains or while they're growing, they'll be much more jelly-like, almost see-through and kind of wrinkled on the outside like a raisin, but still have that jelly-like inside. And as you walk along, your focus changes and you're probably going to start to see a lot of new and different things as you look at these sticks and change your focus in a new way. So walking along, I found these really cool fungi uh, attached to these sticks. And again, these aren't on logs, they're not on trees, they're just on sticks lying on the ground. And there's lots of variety and lots of different features. And it's f fun and exciting to find new things and try to fi figure out what they are. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this winter episode of Nature at Your Door. Remember, you can find things year-round outside. Just because it's cold in winter doesn't mean you have to stay indoors. There's still a lot of cool things to discover out there. Remember, if you like my channel, it's all about learning about nature and what I find, well, just outside my door, please subscribe to my channel. Now, I love hearing from my viewers. Leave me a comment or question, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.